Hello, this is Howard of Despira, Digital Image Signal Processing in Greater Astronomy. And I'm here to demonstrate today uh, how to make your antenna by soldering two things together. Ideally, you should have a typical setup as seen in the camera. You see a soldering iron, you can control the temperature, and you see an air gun, where you could, which will, you can also control the temperature, but for now it's zero because it's not running. And you also need some kind of a stand because eventually you want to you know, be able to hold your parts. A nice light, and of course magnifying if you need to. And I will show you now how we're going to put this together. So here is your five and a quarter inch, sorry, five and a quarter centimeter uh, antenna, which we're going to solder to a SMA. So the antenna goes there, and here's your you know, high quality male SMA that will go in the other. Let's turn that a little bit other holder, and ideally you should be able to hold it from the edge. And the reason why we're going to do this is because we are going to solder two blobs of solder on each piece um, because each piece has a different thermal coefficient so it's going to get hot at different temperatures and you want to make eventually a good connection between these two pieces. So I shall now demonstrate how to do that. So we shall take our already preheated soldering iron, a length of solder, and ideally we shall just hold the iron to the copper, heat it, and eventually it will heat through. Definitely you want the stand holding because if you hold it by your hand, you get very hot and you burn yourself. Again, that's why we're doing these two separate because, again, the coefficient of this brass is very different from the copper. And this is getting really hot. Oh, here we go. So you can see it's melting on there now. And I'm going to put enough on there to create a pretty good size blob. Because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to solder two pieces together by connecting them with solder versus try and connect the metal directly and then solder around it. This one will heat up a little faster. And you can see I want to get a good amount of solder on there. Almost. Yep, that'll do, I think. You don't want it too much because you don't want it to overflow and actually touch the insulation. Overlap the insulation, I should say, because then, of course, you create a little short, and that's not what you want to do. Uh, come on. Alright, they can tell it's hot. Alright, we can clean that a little bit. And now we're going to move the uh, put it back here. Two pieces together. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, the copper has a good amount of solder on it and the brass tip also on the SMA has a good amount of solder and now we're going to basically try to put enough solder in between them to bond the two pieces together. So you want to kind of touch in between so that both metals, the solder and both metals start getting warm and you should be able to then just fill it in. Sometimes these are said and done. Ah. 
Well, it's not a bad connection actually, but it's a little weak. That's better. So, if you look closely, there's a good amount of solder between the two, and it should be fairly strong. It's a pretty nice colored bond. It's not bumpy and ugly and black, so I expect it to hold pretty well. Now we just let it cool and install it in the can, which is a separate video.